right, all right, all right, all right, all right, people, all right, all right. Um, give me one second. Someone just messaged me. Give me one second, y'all. Someone's having trouble joining. I'm gonna just send them the link, and then we're gonna get started. Uh, shoot it to them. Sheesh. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to get started. All right, so welcome, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, yo, you already know this is 1K University, and here at 1K, we like to say 1K a day, keep them jobs away, and that is really what this is all about. But before we get into this presentation, I would like to tell you guys, thank you. Um, thank you for your time. You all could be doing something else with your time, but yet you guys all decided to tune in and hear what I have to say. And um, I made it my best effort into making this presentation super informative. And um, throughout the presentation, I will be sharing a gift with you guys. And I'm sure you guys know what that gift is, but you know, it's a gift. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to showing you guys this methodology. So let me get into it. So why are you here, you know? Um, there's a lot of reasons why people will want to get into the trading business. It's a lot of reasons why people trade. And um, I'm sure a lot of you are here because you want change, you want money, you want to be your own boss, you want success, not only in business, but in life. And so with that being said, if you guys, some of you guys don't mind sharing, like, why do you trade or why are you even here? Like, looking to learn this business. So if you guys don't mind sharing some of your um answers please do so anybody any takers or all y'all are uh, introverts so i can get that 1k a day to keep the job away <laughs> <laughs> for sure for sure anybody else anybody else want to say something i'm shante i want to learn something that's going to stick with me and just a skill set I, a skill set i can have forever um mm. because things are changing money is coming and going but I know that once you learn to be a successful trader, you'll be able to have that skill set forever. Facts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyone else? I echo that. I mean, this would like allow us to have financial freedom um, and not have mm -hmm. to rely on a job. You, you, you're your own boss um, if you can figure <laughs> this stuff out. So um, that's what I'm in it for. <laughs> I know that's right. Well, Cool. So with all of that, with uh, does someone else want to say something or? Oh, I think I took myself off of mute and then <laughs> attempt to say that. <laughs> I'll just make uh, it. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Of course, Armand, you and I are kind of on the same trajectory in terms of futuristic plans. So you oh, know, yeah. of course, my plan is to try to generate some con some income on the continent because you can't go there looking for a job. Absolutely. So, um, ultimately, my plan is to try to generate some revenue for myself and my family so that we can sustain ourselves once we make that transition. Ooh, let them know. Talk to yes. us, sister. Talk to them. Yes, <laughs> most definitely. You can't go there looking for a job. Not by any means. It's not nope. there. <laughs> not at all. And so with that being said, um, so with that being said, success is not a destination. It's a lifestyle. And I would like to say, money is a trap. You know, a lot of you guys are here for the money, but I really want you guys to understand money and, and how it plays a role in our lives. Someone told me, if what you have can't help your situation, giving you more will not help. Money is not going to change your life. I heard all of the responses and it sounds like to me, we're looking to escape being controlled. And if you think money will change your condition, you're crazy because you can have Bill Gates money, uh, or you can be a person who's not as fortunate, but if your power goes out, then what? It makes the rich and the poor equal. And so I say all this to say, if your life is based on money, the person who owns money owns you. And so put yourself in positions for you to own you. And I would suggest investing in natural resources, only things that would keep you alive with or without money. Um, so finally, the real change is you. Forex is not going to change it. Complaining is not going to change it. The system is not going to change it. It's you. You, a lot of people come in here 
looking for the money, looking for the bag. And I get it because we're, we're, that's what we're here for. We're here to get that bag because it's there. But understand that plays a huge role in the psychology aspect when you're looking at those charts. Can you see yourself being drawn down by a lot of cash? Most of us who don't come from, you know, a fortune, we don't like to see ourselves lose too much money. And when you're on them charts, it plays with your emotion. And which is why I want you guys to get out of the mindset of getting a bag, because that's how I was early on in my journey. I was looking to come up quick. I was over leveraging, taking random trades because I'm just, I'm just trying to get the money. And I had to check myself, man. I really had to check myself because um, once you start trading and you knowing what the market is going to do and there's no surprises and things like that, Man, the obsession you have with money is just going to be like, eh. <laughs> seriously, it's not going to be, it's not going to have that big of a, a, an effect on you. And so I would like to say the only time success comes before work is in a dictionary. And that's just plain and simple. So you guys are going to have to put in that work. You have to put in that time. You're going to have to put in that grind in order for this thing to turn out how you guys want it to turn out. Whatever you do, whatever you want with the money, but all in all, um, put yourselves in positions for you to be your own boss. And what I mean by be your own boss, I mean completely. No one owns you. Money doesn't make you, you know? So you, de you guys definitely have to use what you have right now. So um, today's agenda. A lot of you guys came here for the harmonic patterns, uh, understanding harmonics and looking to get the strategy. You guys already have it. And uh, I'm going to get into those details, but I do know we do have some beginners. We have some beginners. We have some folks who are looking to learn the methodology that I trade. And so what I will have to do is I have to give them the course details. And once I give them the course details, I'll be helping you guys out and giving you guys some guiding principles that you should take along your trading journey. And then I'll give the requirements. And then we're going to talk some trader psychology. And then we're going to get into some trading harmonics. And so, yeah. So if you're completely new to Forex, um, go to babypips.com. If you have absolutely no knowledge of Forex whatsoever, I suggest you go to babypips.com and complete sections, preschool through elementary. This is gonna help you get somewhat of a solid foundation of what Forex is and some of the basic terminologies and thing, technical things that we use and tools that we use to analyze the market. So Forex to me is almost like the dictionary. No, I said Forex. Baby Pips to me is almost like the dictionary of Forex or the Bible of Forex, however you want to put it. But it's very informative. I mean, I've been knowing about Forex for since what, 2018? And to this day, I still go there because it's just so much information and, and things. It's just hard to keep all of that stuff in your head. So every now and then I'll go back to Baby Pips to refresh my mind. <clears throat> so, um, this is mainly to all of my beginners and some of my seasoned traders as well, um, or for the few people who've been trading for a few months, I don't know. But I just gotta let you guys know what you're getting yourselves into. Understand that this is not a get rich scheme. Please don't treat it as such. If you're looking to make profit within the next two months, three months or so, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. This will take time to master and your success depends on you. One of my friends told me, when it comes to you trading, it's you against you. This is why I say you make up your success. The money doesn't make up your success. You can train all you want, but if you're not putting in the time and, and really applying everything that you're learning, this stuff is not going to work. So again, this is not a get rich scheme. This will take time. And simply, most people come in here focused on the money. Focus on learning it. Because once you learn it and you master it, the bag is coming your way automatically. Automatically. This is the only business that I know out there in the world where it doesn't depend on customers. It doesn't depend on marketing or anything like that. It strictly depends on you. This is why I say you determine your success. So just keep that in mind, my people. Um, and so I see <laughs> that I'm blowing that chat room up. I will look at some of the chats, but I'm, I'm going to get, let me finish the presentation and you guys can ask all of the questions and things that you want. So uh, when it comes to, this is a chart. So to my beginners who know absolutely no knowledge about Forex or whatsoever, I'm not going to cover all of the basics. I'm, I'm not even going to go too deep into the basics because I know I got some seasoned traders in here and they ain't trying to hear me talk about what's a pip, what is, what is a pip and everything. Can you mute yourself? Can you mute yourself? Whoever that is. 
All right, thank you. All right, so, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go over the basics. And so pretty much when you come to a chart, so let me go back, let me backtrack a little bit. So for all of my beginners, the way we make money in Forex is based off trends. The market moves in three directions, up, down, sideways. Literally that simple. And we wait for trends like the one we see right here. This is a downtrend. And there's a series of events that take, that happens in this trend where you can make money. And so, look, I told you guys before, this is a manipulated market. Anyone who tells you that this is not a manipulated market is either lying to you or they're being just ignorant because it is a manipulated market. And since it is a manipulated market, there's a series of events that take place over and over again because it's manipulated and you're able to take trades off of what they do. Right here, peak formation, trade away from peak. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is literally, this is all you really need to know when it comes to Forex. Identify your peak formation, trade away from peak, three to five days, and then your reversal comes. That's where your M's and W's, head and shoulders come in, your peak formation. Right here, peak formation, level one. Look, stop punt, and it drop. Stop punt, drop. Come in here, give you like some ugly M structure right there. That was ugly. And give you some kind of M structure. And then they drop. These are all stop punts. These are like your little pullbacks, your high highs, high lows, and all the other stuff they tell you. But that's really what you're trading. Second leg, take them. Level three, this is your new peak formation. And you simply trade away from this area three to five days. This is your pullback, bam, take them. Level two. You guys wonder why I use boxes, and I'm about to show you why I use boxes. But overall, you make money when a trend is going up or down. And simply, all you're doing, there's a lot of trading setups that you can take in those consolidation periods. So we're going to get more into it. Even if you don't understand it right now, it's definitely going to make sense as I start to go, if I, as I start to move forward. And so um, for all of my people that signed up for the harmonics course and that have plans on signing up for the master class, um, watch all of the installation videos. Make sure you get a broker. Um, download MT4 for not only for your computer, but also your phone. And um, yeah, get everything that needs to be set up for the MT4. Set up your demo account and use the Harmonic Playbook. And I believe that will be all as far as on the setup part. Oh, yeah. I did want to mention one thing. For all of my people who use MacBooks or any Apple products, if you have the operating system, I believe Catalina, you're not gonna be able to download MetaTrader 4. I don't know why, but it's, it's not compatible. So if you have Catalina, op, the operating system Catalina on your Mac, you may have to downgrade, but if you have a newer computer, there's no way you could downgrade. So you're either gonna have to get a Windows or, or something like that, or just simply trade on TradingView. So, but all in all, there's an indicator. There's an indicator that I give you guys, because I'm giving you guys my template and um, it's gonna give you, it's gonna identify harmonic patterns for you. That way you don't have to go on the charts yourself. So if you use TradingView and that's your way of trading, um, you're not going to be able to use this strategy, so, so to speak, because um, you need to have MetaTrader 4 and have the harmonic patterns identify. Ident you have to have the MetaTrader 4 and an indicator to identify it. You can identify it by yourself. Um, I've never done that. I always use the indicator on here and it works 100%. And so, yeah, this is the Harmonic Kill Box. This is the strategy. This is the playbook. And it's in the course if you signed up. And so this is the market maker cycle. This is literally what we're trading, guys. This is the market maker methodology. You guys have to understand the cycle of the trend. You have to understand levels, patterns, and the, the sequence of the setups that happen. And so pretty much what you guys are looking at right now is this is how the market moves 100%. So levels, what are levels? Levels are consolidation periods. You guys see consolidation that occurs all the time. You at least see three to four consolidation periods before the market drops. Why? Why is that? Because there's three pushes typically in a trend. Your first push, your second push, your third push, and then oh, all of a sudden it's a reversal. It's three levels, guys. Don't overly complicate this stuff. When you come to the charts, you simply have to identify peak formation. Identify your peak formation, Identi and then you know once you get start trading other uh, strategies like the ones I'm gonna be teaching you in the course, um, you can trade level one, you can trade level two, 
But typically, when a harmonic kill box appears, you're typically trading level three. And I can tell you right now, level three, um, level three, that's that's where all the erratic behavior starts to happen. That's where the market starts to get real ch choppy. But all in all, if you can trade level three, you can trade every other level, every other level. And so what you see on the side, um, these right here, these are trading setups. I'm going to be teaching you guys these. For the ones that are signing up for the masterclass, I'm going to be teaching you guys these. Uh, and these are level one trades. So simply, when you come to a chart, you have to identify, where am I in the cycle? Am I a level one, level two, or level three? And you simply have to validate the rules to that level. Once the rules are validated, then that would determine the type of trade that you take. That would determine what you're looking for that night to get your money. And so everything that I just circled up, these are trading opportunities. These are the strategies that you guys will be learning. This is why I tell you guys, you need to have rules to the way that you trade. A lot of people train you guys to use the technicals. And it's funny because as much as we want to make money from this business, we use the technicals that's given by the market. Who do you think tells you to use support and resistance lines? Who do you think tells you to use boiler demands and all of these other things? Who do you think telling you that stuff? The people who make up the market. This business is designed for them to take money from you. So that yes, they're going to give you some things for you to make a little bit of money. Because if they didn't validate the things on the charts, if they didn't validate your support and resistance line and your breakout theory, then you wouldn't trust the business because you will always lose. So they have to let you make some money, but eventually you're going to give it all the way back. You're going to give it all back. You're going to give it all back. And so simply, this is what you guys are trading, the market maker cycle. Here are some entry triggers. You got, and these are not all of them. These are not all of them. I'm sure you guys are familiar with some of these patterns, the star patterns in the port of wood, maybe the railroad tracks. Uh, but these are some, some triggers that will induce us to take, uh, take a position. And, and depending on what we're looking for. And so that's that. So let, let's go, let's look at some charts. I believe, no, I gotta go into the guiding principles. So uh, I want you guys to understand that you're not gonna learn all of this stuff in one year. One setup is all you need. As you can see previously, I, I circled these areas. These are specific trading setups. So when you come to, when you sign up for the masterclass, I'm gonna be teaching you guys so overall, I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of stuff that you need to understand before I prep you to pick your signature trade because that's what these all are, signature trades. And you simply use one, learn it, and milk it. That's all you gotta do, milk it. Milk it, milk it, milk it. Every time it appears in a chart, uh, milk it. Uh, milk it. And so that's what you, that's what you would have to do. I'm um, sorry, somebody had just came in <laughs> a little bit. But anyway, you will have to find your signature trade. Once you find your signature trade, every time it appears in the market, you take it. So that, that is why I say one setup is all you need. You need to define the rules to your setup. Place no trade unless all your rules are met. If other, tra other trades may look nice and may work, but if it's not your setup, don't trade it. I want you guys to get in the habit of sticking to one strategy. You have so many traders that bounce from here that take this strategy, that take that strategy, that take this and that take that. And then they wonder why they're not finding success in the business. You're using all of these different things. All of these different things came from different people and different strategies and different rules. So of course you're not gonna find um, success in a business. So what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is setups, strategies that you can use that have rules and that you can validate on the charts. If all of the rules are met, then you take the trade. If not, don't take the trade. It's literally that simple. When it comes to trading, all you're doing is validating things on a chart and taking your trades. People overly complicated and make it seem like you got to do all of this extra stuff is not even that. <laughs> it's not even, <laughs> it's so funny, but um, it's not even that serious. It is really not. Um, so with that being said, um, yes. So define your setup know the rules, place no trade unless all rules are met. Other trades may look nice, it may work, but if it's not your setup, don't trade it. Homework this session, you attend to trade. So if you like to trade the New York session and you're a beginner, this is mainly for my beginners and the people learning to trade certain strategies. Trade one session. So if you trade the New York session, don't trade the London or the Asian. Stick to your session. Why? Because, you know, it can get a bit overwhelming 
trading multiple sessions and you're going to get tired eventually, right? Um, and then it's not going to start, then you're going to get unmotivated and discouraged. So try to stick to one session. Me, I trade multiple sessions, um, but I have the time to do that. And I, I, I'm, I know the strategy, you know what I'm saying? I, I know what I'm looking for. So I have no problem bouncing from session to session. It's real easy. But in the beginning stage, I suggest you guys stick to one session. That way things, it'll be a smooth process for you. You know, and so I want you guys to understand market timings and understand news. A lot of people will tell you news is bull crap. Yes, news is bull crap. But you have to, what you have to understand is that news is actually what drives the market. That's what determines if the market is going to go up and down. Why? Because the masses of traders take their trades based off news, along with technical analysis, but news as well. If they see a heavy news event and it's bad for that, that specific currency or whatever, hey, most some people are going to sell. Some people are going to buy. And so that's what determines if the market is going to go up or down because of the market's net position. Is he net short? Is he net long? Go on. And so market timings. So you guys want to know the news and understand news. And um, I'll be going more, I'll go more into detail about news in a different session or something. Um, but overall, here's some more guiding principles. Know the dead zones and the slow times of the market. Avoid placing trades during these times. This is typically the Asian session. There are some setups that appear in the Asian session, and I, I can show you a few of them. Um, but when it comes to your pair selection, only select pairs that typically move in your session. Me, I, I analyze over about 18 to 20 pairs. Um, that's me, though. Um, but I like to analyze. I, primarily trade the London session. So a lot of the pairs that I look at are Euro, CHF, and the pound, you know? So I look at the process and I also look at the majors of those currencies. And so that's what helps me, you know, find good setups, you know? So that's typically what I do is I find pairs that move in the session that I am looking forward to trading. And so when you sit down to trade, know exactly what you're looking for. Know what setup you're looking for. No setup, no trade. I can't tell you how many times in, in my beginning stage that I actually came to the London session, the New York session, and I'm just looking at the charts and I'm not really understanding or knowing what I'm expecting. I'm simply just waiting for the market to do something. And then, you know, nine out of 10, if you trade a breakout strategy, you're, you're waiting for the market to do something for you to take your trade. Oh, he broke my support or he broke my resistance. Let me take a trade. <laughs> and then you take that trade and then it goes against you. You're like, oh, what did I do wrong? Like, no. You have to know what you're looking for. If you don't know what you're looking for, when it comes to you, like when it's time for you to start trading, call it a night, sit on your hands. Like don't trade, don't force it. Um, but some people do it anyway. And here are some tips that I would give you guys. Review your old trades, start paper trading, paper trade, and ask yourself a few questions. And this is gonna help you identify your strengths and weaknesses. This is also gonna help you identify and, and help you be honest with yourself. Like I've seen many beginners flip their accounts, but I asked them these types of questions and they, they did it off luck. So you got to ask yourself, was there a setup? Like what induced you to take a trade? Was there a setup? Did you apply all of the rules? And if the answer is no, why did you take the trade? Okay. Did you execute risk management? Okay. When did you take the trade? These are the types of questions that you need to ask yourself. And this is going to help you get an idea of the type of trader that you are and who you are as a person when it comes to like an up and charts. Because all in all, it's patience. That's really what it boils down to. Patience, consistency, and accuracy. So what am I offering? Uh, I am offering you guys the secret sauce to the market. Um, I've seen beginners who took this course um, with little to no experience, and he picked this stuff up easily. I got my 14-year-old brother. He's learning right now, and he's killing it, killing it. And he's only been trading for, what, three months? Three months? I mean, is he live? No, he's not live. I have him on demo and practicing. But overall, the kid got juice. So I'm offering you guys the opportunity to gain a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And so I have three courses available. I have 1K paid in full, which is a master class. And then we have the payment plan. Um, and there's all sorts of plans that we have. We have the three-month plan, which is 400. Um, the six-month plan, which is 250. 
and the 12 month plan was just 150. And then we have the harmonic kill box, which is completely free. But if you're looking to learn multiple strategies, sign up for the masterclass. Here are some of the things that's in, uh, that's in included in the masterclass, which is the free one-on-ones. You get six months of live training, six months of Q&A video sessions, and you also get access to our library of future courses. So right now, me and my business partner, we're putting together an e-commerce course, and um, we're going to be teaching you guys how to start up online businesses to sell almost anything you want. I'm sure you guys heard of drop shipping and things like that. But we also got some real estate courses taught by some of, some top people. Um, we also have some uh, trading. No, I said trading, of course. Crypto, stocks, options, things like that. If you're interested in some of those uh, markets, we have courses on that. And some of these, these courses is valued over $20,000. So we're going to be giving you all $20,000 worth of gain um, just from you signing up for the masterclass. And all of that is free once you're in a masterclass. If you're outside of that, then you know, you're going to have to pay for that or get access to it. But all in all, we give you guys personal coaching, five trading strategies, weekly analysis, weekly trade calls. I do not give out signals. I hate signals. I hate it. Don't ever ask me for a signal. If you ever see my trade calls, I simply give you market conditions. I don't tell you where to enter. I don't tell you anything. I simply tell you market conditions and what to look for. And you pretty much take it up from there because signals make you dependent. If you take signals, you're dependent. Come on. I don't, I, man, I hate, look, I used to take signals and I hated what it did to my mind and how dependent I became because it made me less confident when it came to me looking at the charts. Well, he's going that direction and I'm going this direction. Like, am I right? Should I take his trade? No. And then also we'll be teaching you guys how to trade as a business, eliminating taxes and understanding offshore accounts and things like that. So we're really going to be helping you put some structure to this because this is a business for you guys. Even if you're learning, understand that this is a business for you, even if you're learning. So you have to treat it like it's such. So all of my beginners that's learning right now, Treat this like it's a business. Are you going to sleep on your business? No. You up and at it every single day. Meaning when you're learning, you need to be on these charts every single day, watching the videos, doing your study time every single day. Take breaks in between. But overall, you're putting in the work for your business. And then so, and then we also have a 10K challenge. And, um, you know, when I did this challenge, I thought it was impossible when I first started off but it is very possible to turn 50K into 10K in a month. It may be a month and a half because it's trading days, but I just say tra trading days. And I've seen people do it, $50. They turn $50 into 10K in 30 trading days. It's very, very possible, especially using the, uh, the strategies that we have. And so the subscription plan, it's pretty much the same thing. The only thing that's not offered is one-on-ones. And uh, if I'm only having this available for a certain amount of time. I don't have an end date just yet, but I will be taking the subscriptions off and then it's just gonna be a one-time payment. I don't really like doing subscriptions. I'd just rather get this stuff out the way and teach you guys and let's go. But you know, some people understand the situations out there, but all in all, it's the same thing included. And in a harmonic kill box, I don't know if you guys wanted to see that, but it's the same thing. And oh yeah, one more point. Keep in mind, you guys will be moving with the master class. And if you choose this route, stick to it because no, it's stick to it. It's no refunds. And this is a limited time offer. I already said that. And then I'm on the harmonic kill box. You guys have access to the playbook. You guys also have access to the pre-recorded videos that is in the playbook uh, curriculum. And you guys have access to our harmonics group chat. And that is where I'll be sending out the harmonic trade calls. It's not signals. I'm telling you it's not, <laughs> I hate signals, but, uh, I mean, that's pretty much what I'm offering, yo. And the class starts August 16th. And so far as to hear a few incentives, um, you get 50% off if you pre-enroll before the start date, which is August 16th. The coupon code is 1K days. And so if you plan on purchasing a paid in full, that is like, instead of a, paying $1,000, you're paying 850 bucks. I'm giving you guys almost a month to stack that bread and get this. I can tell you right now, I paid a lot more and my mentor who taught me paid a lot more. I paid about 1500 to learn this information. My mentor paid about $5,000 plus a hundred dollars subscription. I'm giving you guys a steal, but you don't have to purchase it. I don't give a damn. I understand the charts. I'm going to make money either way. I'm just doing this because I have to put the time in and I love teaching. 
but I have to get paid for my time. And I've done free sessions. Dre, you were in some of my free sessions. We had about three people, five, and then it grew to 10. And within three months, people left. They wasn't dedicated enough. People, when it's free, people don't respect it. So I had to put a price on it. And so here are the requirements. Daily access to a computer, internet, and all of that stuff. But you guys need to be willing to dedicate at least five to 10 hours per week to Forex. Um, if you can dedicate more time, please do so. Don't put a cap when you're learning. And be willing to make schedule adjustments for Forex. Please don't make me obligated to respond to you. I have people um, in, in the group chat that I'll be sharing with you guys like on August 16th, but they're gonna be there to support you. So if you have any questions or you wanna schedule a one-on-one -on -one and things like that, um, they're gonna be there active in the group chat and you talk to those guys. So if I post something and you message me and I'll get right back to you, please don't start cussing me out in five different languages. <laughs> I love y'all, man. And, but I, I try my best to at least stay active in a group chat and, and respond to many, um, you know, as many people as I can, you know, but sometimes I don't get around everybody. So, but um, I have the ability to pay, but you must watch the videos. You must, must watch the videos. The videos that I'm sharing with you guys, you have to watch them. Sometimes you, you're not gonna understand something, but I guarantee you all of the answers are in the videos. All of the answers are there. Trust me, they're all there. And so with that being said, with the right, uh, with patience, discipline, and dedication, you will find complete success in your business. You just have to be dedicated, patient, and disciplined. And so, with that being said, let's look at some charts. Look at this. So, you got your peak formation. Your peak formation is right here, right? Nice little M structure, and then they shifted the zone, right? And then you got your first pullback. They already set the high. This is your pullback. They set the low, and then they go from there. And same thing, and it drops. Pay attention to that drawing that I did. And look, I told you guys, midweek reversals happen when? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Wednesday, this reversal happened on Wednesday. Bam, went up. This is your level one. This is your level two. No, wait, wait, wait. I want to say, no, that's not your level one. Sorry. This would technically be your level one, this whole area over here. But all in all, Pay attention to that structure. Here's another chart. Some of you guys are in the group chat. Okay. 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 All right. Check it out. All right. Here's another structure. You got a nice, big, ugly W formation. Let me redraw that. Nice W formation right there. Big, stupid W. And check it out. Wednesday, midweek reversal. Set the high, come back down, pull back. Set the high, come back down, pull back, and they consolidated a little bit, but they took off. And what did they give you up here? Nice, ugly M structure. And then they simply shifted the zone. Is that not, is that not this? Let me draw it again. Nice little W structure right here. Pull back. This is the high right there. I'm trying to, I'm sorry guys, I'm bad at drawing. <laughs> I really am, especially with a mouse. And you have your little M structure. But all in all, is that not that? Do they not line up somewhat? This is an uptrend. Is it gonna look the, exactly the same? No, it's not gonna look exactly the same. The market gives you, give it to you in different variations. Here, and I, when I say levels appear on all time frames, it's so easy to scalp. Scalping is some of the easiest stuff that you can do. And some of you guys usually write it out for 15 pips. Man, on a, when I'm scalping, I'm getting at least 20 to 30. 20 to 30 at least on some of your, look, I didn't make about $3,000 messing with Ethereum and uh, USD, crypto, Bitcoin. I scalped a lot of that stuff. NAS 100, all of that stuff. Look, here's another chart. Look at it. I'm not lying to you guys. This stuff works. This stuff works. It does, look at it, W formation. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm horrible at drawing. Here it is, W formation, bam, bam. Look at when it happened. Thursday, midweek reversal, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Then you got your first rise. Look what happens, they set the high, they pull back, came up. Bam, nice W structure right there. Take them long, this is your second pullback. And now you got your M formation. And now they're getting ready to shift the zone. And you simply write it out. But that is the structure that I've been drawing for you guys for the longest. 
Here's another one. And this is a five minute chart and this is on Bitcoin. Yo, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Levels appear on all time frames. I'm gonna just make that clear. And once you understand levels and how to trade levels, and it is simply just consolidation zones, but this whole entire trend, the only thing you're trading are these areas right here. And this stop point, and then that W formation. That's pretty much what you're trading. But this is a five minute chart, so it's, it's a lot more volatile. It's not all zoomed in, I can't really see the candlesticks on there, but I'm just showing you guys the potential areas. But does that not look like the drawing that I've been showing you guys, but just on a downtrend? It looks exactly the same. So with that being said, NAS 100 is right here. Here's another one, but it all looks the same. So let's get into trading harmonics. Um, and yeah, so success. So successful trading is about finding the rules that work and then sticking to those rules, simple and plain. So before we get into trading harmonics, I'm gonna show you guys a video and I want you guys to pay close attention. So let's get into it. Um, I don't think you guys can see the video just yet. Let me see something. Give me one second, give me one second. Can you guys see it? Some of y'all may have seen this video, but yeah. it's, like an, it's like an awareness test. You guys can see it? Can see yeah. It. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. How about, can you hear it? No. You guys can't no. hear it? No. No? No. Uh, let me see something. Okay, 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 okay. This sucks. Um. Ah oh man, they're not gonna hold up. Hold up one second, y'all. Hold up one second. Give me one second. You could probably just narrate it, right? Huh? I said you could probably just narrate it yourself, right? I can. Um hold up, give me one second. I, I wanna make because this is it really important for you guys to hear it? No. No. Not really. Okay. No. no. Okay, so pretty much what's going on is they want you guys to pay attention. So what you guys have to pay attention is pay attention to the room. This guy's walking around and accusing the people that's standing around there of murdering a guy that's on the floor. And so what I want you guys to understand is pay attention to the room to see if you see if it, anything changes. That's it. And so just look at it. I know you guys can't hear it, but if you get some time, watch the video yourself. It, it's <laughs> mind blowing honestly but check out everything peep peep it look at everybody look at the things that they're holding look at it uh-huh look at it uh-huh and he's just talking and accusing people and he's asking everyone where are you like where have you been when this person was murdered what time and things like that and then they're all you know responding and everything and then, uh they're gonna arrest this lady but i hope you guys are paying attention to the room I'm pretty much giving out the answer, but I already know this one. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, you know, so but look, check it. it. This this blew my mind. You guys are gonna see how this ties into trading in a bit, but it blew my mind when I seen this video. It was 21 changes. When I first seen it, I'm like, oh, what? Shit. get out of here. 21 changes. Watch how they break this down. And this is exactly how you have to view the market. And I'm gonna tell you why. Look at this. Look at all of the changes. You were so focused on the guy walking around, you not even realizing the types of things that they move. Bro, the whole room didn't change on you. <laughs> even a dead guy, but you didn't even peep it though. Yeah, Why? Because you, you were you were focused on one particular thing. <laughs> it, it's mind blowing, yo. It really is. And so look. Look what happened here, finally arrested the lady. So it's easy to miss something you're not looking for. It's easy to miss something that you're not looking for. And so with that being said, um, let's get back into it. I know what you guys are thinking. Okay, so how does this apply to trading? Well, it applies to trading because if you're focusing on the wrong things, it will cause you to fail. It causes failure. You must get the big picture of the market. And if you're being too hard-headed or stubborn, you, it will cause you to miss the truth in the market, plain and simple. That is the best way that I can put it. 
So the next couple of slides that I'm gonna show you guys is simply a sneak peek into what goes on behind the scenes and the things that the brokers, the banks, whatever you wanna call them, they don't want you to know this information. They don't want you to know this information. Why? So anyway, look, some people don't believe me when I say the market is manipulated and that this business it was designed to take your money. Some people are just being ignorant. But I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kill that right now. They have a book on how to take your money. This is not a hobby for these guys. This is business. And this is a business for you. And so with that being said, you're not in this business to give up free money. They're not in this business to give up free money. And so you have to understand who the market makers are. The market makers are the guys who manipulate the market. They determine if the market goes up or down. Your goal as a retail trader is to trade it uh, exactly like them. Look, you guys got your breakout systems and you're trading and look at all of the weapons that these guys got against you. They all got accounts. Look how many monitors these, this is what you're trading against. You as a trader, this is who you're trading against. This whole trading floor. Oh my gosh. People don't tell you this stuff though. They don't tell you, they just tell you to use whatever. But all in all, hopefully that's eye-opening. You know, it, it sure as hell was eye-opening to me because I, I didn't know that. I mean, I knew I was trading against the banks and all of that, but this is, is crazy. And so you have to understand the objectives. They have three objectives. What is it? Induce traders to take positions with circular trades, wide range swings. And remember, your account is no use to them until you trade it. Objective number two, create panic and fear, get you to think irrational, quick moves, spike candles, news events, price behavior, inexplicable price behavior. And objective number three, hit the stops, clear the board, force you into margin trouble. In other words, take your damn money. That's their three objectives. That's the business. So when people start seeing breakouts and long spike candles. Oh, I'm missing something. He broke out. He broke out. Let me see if I can hurry up and take a trade. Oh my gosh. That's what they want you to do. That's what they want you to do. It's designed that way. So what you're currently looking at, look, this is literally in their playbook. These guys can reject your order at any point of given time. They can confirm it. Of course, look at all of the accounts that they have. They have full transparency of your account. Do you know what you're in for a buy or a sell? the swap, the profit, all of that stuff. They know everything about your account. Everything, everything. Look, when it comes to spread, they can manipulate the spread from four pips to 20 pips to 100 pips. And it's just by using this little slider. Just by using that little slider, it's not hard. Look at this, and this is the killer part right here. They know who's all in margin trouble. They know who over leveraged. So when you get those, those candles in a London session, it just bam, and it, and it rises up and it keeps rising. And you're like, yo, it hit my stops. Why? Because they're not just focused on you. It was over 3 million traders and that, that, that was in that range. And so they had to hit the stops. They knew who you are. They know where your account is. And this is the killer part. Most people don't even know, but they can go back and manipulate a candle as far as they want. They can manipulate the opening price, set the high of that price uh, of that candle, set the low of that candle, and set the closing price of that candle. They can do all of this stuff, and they can go back and rewrite the charts. This is why when your account gets to a certain level, some people have had, they have stories where the market hit their stop, but it was nowhere near close to their stops. But when they refresh the, um, you know, the, the, when they refresh their charts, all of a sudden you have candles that hit their stops and it's like, how? Like the market wasn't even up there. That's because it's manipulation. They can change the charts. Look at it. Look at it. It's all there. This is all of the manipulation that they do. Look at all of these accounts that they have. They know who's in profit. They know who's losing. And so what the market simply does is they consolidate, they consolidate. Okay, okay, how many, how many people do we have going long? How many people do we have going short? Uh, we have about 5 million going short. We have about 2 million going long. So what are they gonna do? Remember, when you buy, they're selling. When you sell, they're buying. So if they have 5 million going short, 2 million going long, 
hell, that means I'm going to drop the market, hit their stocks, and then rise. Rise. Because they had to trap these traders that went short. They had less money if they went long. Because if they validate the people that wanted to go uh, short, then they will lose money. The more money you make, the more money they lose. And they're not in the business of giving up free money. So if you want to learn more about the manipulation of what goes on behind the scenes and really how to get around that, because I told you that they have full transparency of your account, I suggest you guys sign up for 1K and that's just that. But all in all, let's get into these harmonics. So I want to give you guys a warning for the people that's going to be using this strategy. Please do not mix this up, this stuff up with anything. You're not trading fibs. You're not trading support resistance. You're not trading any of that stuff. That stuff is garbage, in my opinion. That's just me, though. I mean, you can take it how you want to take it, but it's, it's true. And the reason I say that, support and resistance lines are psychological levels. The market bounces around in those areas purposely because they know you as a retail trader are going to trade off of those levels. So they're going to hit it and see what you do. Are you going to react and go for a buy and treat it as a breakout? Or are you simply going to hold out because they didn't give you a breakout? Like, it's a, look, but anyway, we're not trading Gartleys. We're not trading bats and butterflies. This is a bit of a contradiction, but they're not always accurate. That's what I mean. So just because you get a harmonic pattern, that doesn't mean, oh, it's a bullish butterfly. So I'm going to go in for a buy. That doesn't mean you go in for a buy immediately. No, there's some things that you have to validate on the charts and simply trade it. If all rules are met, you take the trade. If not, then you don't take the trade. We are simply only using the indicator to alert us to a segment of the chart. Um, oh, my laptop. Let me go ahead and plug this thing in right now <laughs> before y'all kill me. Uh, but anyway, we're simply using the indicator to alert us to a segment of the charts that is of interest to this group. That's it. That's it. You're not just you're not just saying butterflies, bats, and gartleys, and then trading it immediately. See? Bullish, uh, crabs, gartleys, and bats. These are the four patterns that you're going to be trading. There is another one, which is called the crab, but it, it really shows up. And when it shows up, it's pretty accurate, but it doesn't show up as often as the butterflies and um, the bats and things like that. So why are we looking at harmonics? Well, harmonics allows us to utilize specific patterns at a specific area on the charts with high success ratios. Um, they can show up multiple times in a week, and I'm gonna show you how many times, but they're giving you, the, this is giving you, the trader, the ability to maybe trade one to three good setups, maybe more, depending on how the week is. And so look, these are some of the uh, success ratios, you know, whether it's bullish or, or bearish, but these have an 80 to 90 per win rate. It's a win rate, you know what I'm saying? It's very successful. A lot of the harmonic patterns that I called out for you guys, and you can validate it and look on our charts, but most of them took off. Why? It's just that good. That's why I trade harmonics. So when people tell me that harmonics is, is fake and it doesn't work, I laugh. I laugh because they're lying to you. Yeah, I'm sure you guys probably heard of harmonic patterns through IML and all of that stuff, but I don't think they're giving you, I don't know. I've never been in IME. So I don't think they're giving you the rules that I'm about to give you. You know, the playbook has more rules, but I'm just going to kind of give you guys a quick overview. But I will want you guys to go to the course and, and go through it. And look, use the, before you even sign up for the curriculum, yo, try out the harmonic kill box. If you like that, and if most of your trades are accurate, mess with me in the, uh, the curriculum because I got more information for you and it's going to be dope period, point blank, but let's get into the rules. What are the rules? And these are just an overview of what you're looking for, like a quick analysis. If you go into the playbook, we break it down step by step by step. And we also have examples. I'll go to the playbook as I finish up this presentation. I'll show you what it looks like in the inside. But all of it, but all in all, what you do is you wait for the alert. You check what level you're in on a one hour chart. You identify the outside structure, which is like an M formation, the first leg to your M formation. And then um, on the, the outside structure, the outside structure should end with a pin bar, railroad tracks, or a cord of wood, or star pattern. So we're looking for some form of entry trigger to induce us to take that trade on a second leg of that M pattern or that head and shoulders pattern, whatever. Um, and then we simply wait for price to close above or below the 13 EMA. 
and then come to challenge the first leg. So what that looks like is this. So this is your outside structure. Let's just say you got some other stuff down here, right? This first move to the upside, that is your outside structure. Close below the 13 EMA, close back above. That's what they mean by challenging the first leg. Is it gonna break? And on this second leg right here, you should have some form of a star pattern, cord of wood, railroad tracks, or a shift candle. And the shift candle is when it's a pretty much a candlestick that's five, and that's 10 plus pips. And the shift is on and it gets up out of there. But that's simply what they mean. And so, yeah, so wait for your name mobile pattern, which is railroad tracks, cord of wood, et cetera. And then look for a pattern on a one hour chart. Sometimes your patterns will appear on a 15 minute chart. And if they do, that may be uh, a great opportunity to take a trade on this one hour chart once things are you know, validated. But other than that, you take the trade. So let's actually get into some examples. I told you guys, if you, you guys use the, um, sorry, I'm moving too fast, um, but I wanna make sure I have enough time to answer some questions. So step one, email alert. So if you guys have the indicator and the moment you're on MT4, if you click the four hour, uh, chart time frame. If there is a harmonic pattern, it's going to pop up automatically. The box is going to appear. Everything. The work is done for you. As far as identifying it, only thing you have to do is uh, validate the rules, and that's it. And sometimes it could take a few days for the rules to match up. So just because you don't see everything's not validated right away, that doesn't mean it's a bad opportunity. You simply just have to give the market some time to develop. So you check what level you're in. Obviously, what level three. Level two, <laughs> level three, level two, right? And then look, look at your outside structure. Got a nice M formation, right? Okay, cool. Watch this. Let's look at it. So uh, let me move that. So you got your outside structure to the upside, bam. And look. Do we have an entry trigger? Yes, we have an entry trigger. We have a cord of wood right here. I need to get rid of this thing. This thing keep getting in my way. We have a cord of wood. Oh my gosh. We have a cord of wood right there. Does it look exactly like the cord of wood? No, it's, it's a variation of it, but a cord of wood is pretty much where they slap a bunch of you know candles next to each other, just like how they're doing with this one right here. It's right there. But it's a quarter wood. It looks exactly the same. It's there. That would induce me to take a trade on a one hour chart. I would have took my trade right there. But if you drop down to a smaller time frame, what did they give you? Looks way better. See, they spiked it to the high side. That's your three pushes. They set the high. And look, what comes into the London session? Friday, Asian range. And then all of a sudden, 30 minutes to 45 minutes into the London session, bam, spike to the high side. This is where every trader is taking their breakouts. Oh, he broke out. He broke out on my support line or my resistance, whatever you call that. And then they're going to go long, not knowing that he just gave you a nice M structure and he's shorting. This is your shift candle. That long bar that you see, this red bar, that is your shift candle. That's 10 plus pips. Entry would have been right there and I would have rolled it out. I would have rolled it out. But you could have got an earlier entry on a 15 minute chart if you were paying attention to it. And so if you wanna learn more about it, use the PDF and watch the videos. We show you step-by-step step on using it and we give you results to everything. So don't tell me this thing don't work because I'm gonna prove you wrong. If I give you a harmonic pattern and you fail and I win, that's gonna say a lot. So you have to apply the rules, validate it. So I'm, what I'm about to do next is I'm about to show you a bunch of harmonic patterns that, sh that showed up in the same week and they were all successful, all of them, all of them, all of them. But this, is, this happened, these pairs that I'm about to show you right now happened on June 4th, which I believe was first Friday um, of the month. And that was NFP. All of these pairs happened on NFP. Man, you would have caught a bag. So Euro USD gave you a, a bullish Gartley. Keep in mind, this is a four hour chart. So it may look small. The moves may look small, but overall, it's a big move. Trust me. Two, EA, bears butterfly. Bears move. Happened in the kill box. Bears move. Success. Three, 
Bullish Gartley. GA. Bullish move. Happened from the kill box. Success. Four. Decap. Bears back. Small move on a four hour chart, but I guarantee you them pips is massive. But it was a success. It was a bearish move. Four, uh, AUD CHF. Bullish Gartley. Bullish move. It was a success. This all happened on NFP, y'all. And all in one day, all of these patterns happened. I was amazed. Here's another one. Bearish Garley. It was a, a success. That was the one I was showing you guys in the example. And then uh, AUD USD. Bullish Butterfly. Success. Look at it. Bam. Success. Eight. Bearish Gartley. Bearish move. Success. The dollar. This one was a little iffy, but I traded it on NFP and I caught mad pips off of it. Can I tell you how much? No, I, I have to go through my trading book, but I, I took it. Good trading opportunity. All of the rules apply. Was it inside of the kill box? Nah. It was in there a little bit, but nah, not really. But I still took the trade and it was a success. And this is platinum. And this pair moves about 2,800 pips per day. That little move, that little bullish candle with the wick on the downside, yo, that was at least a thousand pips. And if you would have traded the harmonic pattern this week, you would have caught a bag. It's real easy to flip your account using harmonics. And it's a it's, it's a step-by-step -step guide, guys. Like that's why I say just use one setup. One setup is all you need to make money because if it works and it makes money, now like just think about it. If something has a high success win rate and it works, why not just Validate the rules and just use that as your way of trading to find success in a business. You're always going to make money. And so here are some recent ones. That was about a month ago, July 2nd, NFP, UCAT. What had happened? Let's look at some of these rules. So we got a bearish bat, right? So I dropped down on a one hour chart. What do we have? W formation. Is that not the pattern that I've been drawing for you guys? M formation. Is that not this pattern that I just drew for you guys? But I'm crazy though, right? Cool, whatever. All right, cool. So that's the one hour chart. And so let's zoom in a bit more. So we're on a 15 minute chart. What happened? Three pushes to the high. And, I, I, and it's funny because I sent this trade to the group chat and people were like, yeah, it looks like he's going to go down, but he can't go up. I told y'all good night. Told y'all good night. He broke the Asian range. Bam. What did he end it with? Railroad tracks. Uh, took that trade right there. I was done. I went to bed. As soon as when them railroad tracks formed, I went to bed. I did not stay up. I, man, I was done. I was done. And NFP was the next day. Did I hop out of my trade? Hell no. Watch what happened. Bam. Bam. It works. It works. Here are some more patterns that happened last week. July 6th. On Tuesday, AUD, CHF, AD pit move. And I called out all of these moves too. Euro NZD, 221 pips. GN, 223 pips. Look at it. They're all, all success. They all have the moves. NZD, USD, 116 pips. UCAT, 147. And this was on Thursday. This stuff works. So what's next? You guys need to go to 1K and um, sign up for the Harmonic Kill Box strategy. And for those who want the blueprint, um, enroll in the masterclass, get 15% off before August 16th. And that's just that. So, I mean, that's really the harmonic patterns. So do you guys have any questions? I can break it down. If you didn't understand something, we can go over it. Or even if you want to see something, like talk to me. What do y'all think? Y'all can come off mic. I'm done. Yeah, I do have one question. Uh, would you ever hold the trade from level one all the way through to level three? Bro, what, le level one is one of the safest trades you can take. One of the yeah. safest trades you can take. Hell yeah. yeah. I will hold it all over so, until yeah. level three. Checks. All right, cool. Because I was looking. I'm like, yo, it's, you know, granted, they don't take a lot of money off from each trade that you place. But it's just nah. like, you know, it might just make more sense just to, you know, hold on to the trade and, you know, save yeah. money. You Level know one is one of the so. safest trades you can take. Trust me. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. And have you ever, have you ever uh, twin traded, like, between levels? Like, say you place a trade at level one. You hold that one long, then once you see a uh, level two form or whatever, you place another trade. And, 
you know, vary your lot sizes between that. Have you ever done it? Um, so it sounds like you're talking about trading in uh, both directions. No, not in both directions, but just say, you know, all right, so you see level one, you place one trade, then once level two uh, forms, you might place another trade, but I don't know, increase your lot size. You can, you can. Typically yeah. though, bro, look, you only trade levels if the setup appears. That's why you have to validate the rules. So when you're going through the charts, um, hold up, let me see. Let me share my screen real quick. And can you guys see my screen still? Yeah. yeah. So, and level, these mm -hmm. are the levels right here. These are all the levels. So you only place a trade if a setup appears. And there's certain trade, uh, trading opportunities that you take in each level. Level one, we're looking for a safety trade or a 50 50 bounce. Mm -hmm. And I believe, who is that talking? I, I wasn't able to catch your name. That was Walter. That was Walter. Cool. Bet. So you you already know what the 50 50 bounce is. It's in the curriculum that I gave you. You already mm -hmm. you already signed right. up. So mm -hmm. the 50 50 bounce, you take that trade and go long. Uh, w off the mail is typically what what you M or W off the mail is typically what you're looking for a level two. What did he give you? He came out of this range, set the high, pull back. That was your level one trade. You should have took an entry somewhere in there. Level two, what happened? Is that not your W off the mail? And then mm -hmm. he rose. That's your W off the mail. Bam. And then what happens? You get into this range and you're looking for shorting opportunities. That's it. Okay. Like level one is uh, one of the safest question. trades. Yeah. Question. Uh, real quick, do uh, those two slides, you had the two slides with the setups, like the, uh, the bat and the crab. I was wondering if you could go back to that. And then you had a, another a, another slide that said, uh, stated which uh, which setups to look for in each level. I wanted to take a screenshot of that too. Oh, that's actually in a harmonic kill box. So I can actually show it. I can pop that up right now. So for those who are interested in, uh, well, they want to know what the, the, the kill box looks like. Let me pop it up right now. So when you go through the kill box opportunity, these are some cheat sheets. Sorry, I got so much stuff on my computer. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I have it. I have it. I have it. Here it is right here. So this is what you guys have access to. This is literally what you'll be trading. And when I say step-by-step -step guide, it's a step-by-step -step guide, literally. Step-by-step. Mm. Step. step one tells you what to look for, how to trade it. And it's validating. It's telling you, to, it's, you have to validate these rules. Literally, it's a step-by-step -step guide. <laughs> you guys have access to this. Three to five days of rise. Step two, identify your peak formation. Peak formation, three times ADR, things like that. Step one, I mean, step three, identify your levels. Level one, level two, level three, uh, level four, I guess you can say, but it's actually an extended level three, so we call it peak. And then this is literally what you're trading. It's the same structure, but it's a step-by-step -step guide on how to trade harmonics. So if you haven't already, take your butt over to 1K and sign up. The curriculum is right here. It's available right now. All of the videos, even the, uh, the PDF that I just showed you, it's all in there. And we also have videos taking you step-by-step. Step, what are we looking for? And we even drop some extra gems in there for you to even think about as you're trading, uh, analyzing the charts. And so you go to it, get in the videos, everything's all there. But automatically, once you sign up, you are automatically in our community. So you can come here and I'll be sending out the harmonic setups in this group chat right here. So you are, if you sign up automatically, you have access to that. And then all of your courses that you pay for will be here. Um, so yeah, sign up for the harmonic kill box strategy and it's gonna be there. And so if, uh, Walter, I know you said you wanted to screenshot that, um, what's the name? It's all in that- uh, yeah, the, uh... It's, it's all, all in the kill box. Uh, yeah, it's all in the kill box. Yep. So if you scroll all the way down, and cool, the cool thing about this, they even teach you risk management. How much to risk? Take profit. Like, yo, we literally put a whole little thing for y'all, and it works. It works. You just have to validate the rules. We give you multiple examples, and this is for free. This is for free, and I want you guys to use it. 
use it, milk it, and if it keeps working, check us out. We got way more trading strategies than that. This is just a piece of what we actually have. All you have to do is validate the rules, but you know, but I will say um, there is more to it as far as the psychology and understand why these understanding why these patterns form, but overall, it's good. The stuff works. 100%. I love it. I love it. I love it. Here are peak formation rules. I love it. Uh, I love it. So, but anyway, um, my camera's on. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much that. I mean, any other questions? I see somebody had posted something in the group chat. Where do we locate, uh, where do we locate this PDF? In the course, sign up for the course. It's free. You come to the course, I'll show you what it looks like in the inside of it. But all of the videos are here. You got many, you got many videos. You got videos from my mentor talking about harmonics. And then all of a sudden you come to the kill box and it's right here. Everything's there for you. And then so if you want to use it, um, you access it through the course. You use it here and scroll through. And I'm currently working on a feature for you guys to be able to download this. But at the moment, you guys are going to have to go to the site and look at it. But and also custom indicators. So if you want my indicator uh, for the charts for your MT4 platform to look like this, because you're going to need it if you're going to be trading harmonics the way I do, um, you're going to need it. And so I don't know why I did that. Here it is. But look, and oh, yeah, you guys are in luck for everyone who's in the session. We have a harmonic pattern for GU and it just formed today. And so that's a bearish Gartley. And so I will look for some trading opportunities, wait for it to form. And um, yeah, that should be a sweet opportunity. Sweet opportunity. And I'm already expecting GU to come back. So this, yo, so if I send that out, I want y'all to apply them rules, apply them rules and trade that thing you know, and watch what happens. Watch what happens. Can you point out that bearish uh, Gartley one more time, please? I haven't got yeah. to that point in the curriculum yet, but I just want to see. I'll zoom in. Talking. I'll zoom in. Bearish Gartley, right? Uh, bearish Gartley, right here. This is a bearish Gartley. Okay. I really don't know how to identify the patterns. I mean, I have a whole indicator that tells you what it is, and so it tells it's you it's a bearish Gartley because it's, it's a bearish Gartley. It's a bearish Gartley. And it's pretty much telling you that it's going to be a bearish move. A bearish move is what you're looking for. But keep in mind, just because this forms, that does not mean take a trade immediately. Validate the rules. I'm going to tell you, my first time coming into this strategy, I did some of the goofiest stuff ever. And um, I was in this trading group chat. And I was just so cocky because I'm like, yeah, you know, my mentor said this stuff works. And um uh, I'm going to trade the harmonic pattern. I posted it in the group chat on like harmonic pattern. I'm shorting it. And man, I woke up the next day. It went long and I felt so stupid, but I didn't apply none of the rules. I didn't apply none of the rules. I didn't validate anything. I was just taking it like an idiot, but I learned. So you have to validate the rules to make sure it's a valid pattern. Yes, they have a high percent chance of being successful, but that doesn't mean you should neglect the rules. So GU, I'm expecting GU to come back down here, at least in his range. If he comes back down here, yo, I'm tagging him. I'm tagging him. So this can either be, it could be a number of things. Let me, yeah, he can push up. He can possibly push up, give you like some kind of M structure, drop down to the 15 minute and take him short right here. From that range, if you get him up there, that will probably be about 100 and something pips, 108 pips. Not exact because it is a drawing, but I'm just saying this stuff works. No doubt, no doubt. It's all love. It's all love. Any other questions? Y'all yeah, want to know more about the strategy? Talk to um, oh, go ahead, bro. No, you good. Uh, so, without, what I was going to say, because uh, I know our mom, me and you talk, you know, personally. I was yeah. going to say, uh, with uh, it's saying you should study it, study this um, Forex Market five to 10 hours a week. 
and I'd be around like two hours a day. What exactly should I be studying? What exactly should I be looking for as far as like chart wise? Like, should I be like, should I be just looking at the charts and looking at the patterns that it's forming or should I be? Okay. You know, like, right. you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, where I'm coming from. Or... I, I think I have an idea. So I'm going to repeat the question to you to make sure I understand it. Okay, and then okay. if it makes sense and it's right, then I'll answer it. So what you're asking me, if I'm not mistaken, is that, okay, you're going to commit to doing X, Y, Z amount of hours, like typically five to 10 hours, if you can, out of a week. And so mm-hmm. what you're saying is, what are you typically, what, what are you studying and a or looking for on a chart too. Is that what you're asking? Like, what are you looking yeah, for? Yeah, because I don't, because I wouldn't want to be all over the place and kind of, you know, like mess my mind up and be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm studying this and I'm into this now and then this, this, this. But like, I just want to make sure I'm on like one, you know, one thing that I'm always looking for every single day so that I okay. have sort of like a pattern. You know I what I mean? Because I know you're on, you're already enrolled in the, the boot camp that I did. So you have a lot, you have access to a lot of those videos that's already in a master class, bro. So I would suggest you watch those videos, watch those videos to make sure you understand like how the market moves overall. Because the videos that I'm, I'm giving you in those, that course is really the psychology of how the market moves. So watch those videos. And if a harmonic pattern appears on the charts, then you simply apply the rules. But other than that, you simply watching the videos and applying everything you learn from those videos into the charts. So after you watch a video, come to the charts and try to validate, not validate, but look for some of those things that was talked about in those videos. It's simply applying, watching, mm, applying, okay, watching, okay. applying, watching, applying, watching, applying. That's all it is. All right, for sure. So any other questions? Ryan, Shante, y'all good, Nico. Ty, cozy, what's going I'm on, bro? Good. I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm ready. Um, <laughs> he said, I'm ready. <laughs> he said, I'm ready. Learning, I feel you. <laughs> learning this way is new for me. Um, I took a course for a year and learned. It was just too complex. The trends, the W, it was just so much information, but I'm disciplined. I studied the two hours a day and stuff, but I just had to set it to the side because I was like, right. why am I not getting it? Why are my trades flopping? It's like it was... Some of my stuff would make sense and it wouldn't. But when you, um, because I, I found you in our Facebook group. Yeah. And I just been, you know, I've been sitting back and I'm like, wait, this is something totally different. I knew nothing about harmonics. So um, wow. I jumped, you know, I accepted your um Discord invite and I've been in and watching. I'm like, okay, been going in, just testing a little bit of what you um say just off your analysis. And it feels, it feels familiar to me. It doesn't feel Greek. So I'm like, maybe mm-hmm. this is where I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to, you know, work the, the kill box and, and see what I can get out of it. But I don't Ooh. know. It's still different to me. It feels and a little I'm, more comfortable. I would just say this. You know, for me, when I first was introduced to it, it felt a lot more comfortable. Because typically when you're in a lot of trading academies, what they do is they get you to use all of these different technical things. And if the market does this, it's just based off a bunch of assumptions. But I'm telling you right now, each of these boxes that you see me marked up, there are certain trades that you can take. And there's rules on how to take those trades. Literally, my technical analysis, if all of my charts are marked up, I'm simply like, okay, this is what I'm looking for. If he gives me a stop hunt high, a nice information, then I'm shorting it. Like, literally, there's rules to each level that you're in. So you come to the charts, identify what level are you in. First, identify peak formation. Then identify the level that you're in. Once you fi- uh, figure out what level you're in, you find uh, a trading opportunity that's in level one. So whether it's a safety trade, a one hour bounce, 50-50 bounce, then you apply the rules and then you trade it. It's that simple. You're not using anything else. You're not, no, it's that simple. You apply the rules. Look for the rules on, to appear on the charts. And if all rules are met, you take the trade. A lot of people try to get you to use all of this extra stuff, breakout systems. Go okay. go to the four-hour chart, go to the daily chart, go to the weekly chart. It's unnecessary. So I do have a question because I've been using TradingView and MetaTrader 4 on my phone. I have a Droid. Mm-hmm. So you're, you're using MetaTrader 4 on your desktop? Yes, ma'am. I am. 
Okay, but I have a Mac. So would I not be able to use MetaTrader 4 on my desktop? What year is your Mac? Is it a new Mac? It's a 10, but it has, you know, the updates. Ooh, what, what is your operating system? Is, the, is it Catalina? Uh, just if, it's com if it's updated, updated, you may not be able to download MetaTrader 4. Uh, that may be beyond my abilities at the moment. <laughs> what? Talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> right just... to talk. Um, um, hold on about this Mac. Let's see. Big Sur? Ooh, yeah, you updated, updated, yeah. Yeah, you won't be able to use MT4. So what you would have to do if, um, since you have a MacBook, you'll probably have to downgrade your operating system. But it's That's best okay. that... My baby has a little um droid pad. So when I put her to bed, I can use her droid pad um, to do it. But okay, I have a question. So you're saying that the MetaTrader 4 will let you know um, uh -huh. the Bartlett, you, the indicators. Automatically, see, I just clicked the four hour chart and it appears automatically, bam. All so you gotta do. It's automatically embedded on MetaTrader 4. Yes, so when you download MetaTrader 4, it's your chart is not gonna look like this. So you right. have to, that's why I'm telling you guys, you guys have to be in a course in order to get any of this stuff and okay. download the indicators. Once you download the indicators, um, you can put all of the, you know, the, you put the, sorry guys. Once you download the indicators, you would put the indicators on your chart, install them, and then boom, your chart will look exactly like this. Okay. And then once you click the four hour chart or any pair, if there is a harmonic pattern, it will pop up. So when you're analyzing your chart, like I see you have alligator on there and various ones, do you use those to gauge as well? Like when they cross over any of that? Um. So uh, what, my emails? Yes. These lines? Of mm -hmm. course, yeah. I actually use those to validate some of my levels. So okay. level one, in order to identify level one, you have to wait for a 1350 cross. A 1350 cross, that'll let you know if you're in level one. And so let me see if I can find a complete market maker cycle to kind of give you an idea of really, truly how we trade this. Um, so I think UJ last week gave a perfect um, harmonic pattern, not out of harmonic pattern, but a perfect setup. So here, right here on this top side right here, um, we have our level three. This is our level three. This is our peak formation. This is the high of the week. You simply, so Monday, let's just say none of this stuff over here existed yet. This is all that we've seen. So if that's the case, level three, I know he came off this range. All of my EMAs are all fanned out and he reversed and now I'm here. This is my level one. Notice I got a 1350 cross, my EMAs. So what am I looking for? Looking for a stop point high and then an opportunity to sell. And that's exactly what he gave you. Bam, M formation up here. So came back up and he simply just fell off that range. But there's rules to identifying your levels. Level one, 1350 cross. Level two, 5200 cross. Level three, 5800 oh, cross. I see exactly what you're saying. EMAs. And so look, this is the exact structure that I've been you know, showing y'all. It happens all the time. I told you midweek reversals happen on what? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Right. This reversal, first leg to your reversal. First leg, bam. Thursday going into Friday, they took off. If you would have caught that, easily. Level two, M structure right there. You got a nice, ugly M structure right there. And then he shorted it, bam. Level one, here's your pullback. And then he went down. Here's your level, you know, level three or whatever. But it's all there. And in each of these ranges, there's trading opportunities for you to take. So do you need levels to be successful? No, you don't need levels to be successful. But all in all, what you're simply looking for is your peak formation and you simply trade away from peak three to five days. Why? Because one, two, three, four. And on the fifth day, which is Friday, he rose. You stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to tell people. The thing that I like with the, lay the, the levels for me, like even just in this workshop, the levels are training the eye. So being that you are showing the levels and the peak levels is getting my eyes to look at the key zones automatically. Right. It's that simple. In each of those boxes, there's trading opportunities for you to take. 
and all you have to do is apply the rules. If all of the rules are met, you got them. You got them. This is why it's so easy to trade the market. It is so easy. It brings, it brought me so much clarity to the charts. Once I started trading it, look. I wish I, wish I could show you the BS that how I was learning. And you'd be like, girl, you went to, you went look, to France and back trying to learn. I, I, I know the struggle. Trust me. I know the struggle. Cause I used to have my charts. They were ugly. Like all you saw was a bunch of lines and I'm going to the, the weekly chart. Well, he's doing this and I got a big stupid trend line down here. Look, you don't need none of that stuff. Your analysis is simply identifying peak formation and trade away from peak three to five days. But hey, be careful because they can extend levels. Look, right. look how long they were in this level. This is level two. Or actually, okay, I have another three. question. What's I'm up? sorry, I know I'm bouncing all around. You're okay, good. ask another question. So when you get your news, do you go to Forex Factory to get your news yes, um, and look at the reports and the folders? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, so just say you have news and you're in a London session mm -hmm. and you know you open a red folder, blah, 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 XYZ. When you're in that section and the news hit, what exactly do you do? Me? Uh, well, I only take trades if there's a setup. So if there's not a setup, I'm not taking a trade. But if I am in a trade and I know there's a news event, I'm not worried because one, I took the trade and I know what he's going to do. Can the market go against my analysis? Absolutely. I can't predict what the, I can't, you know, determine whether the market goes up and down. But a lot of the times, that's why I showed you guys a lot of NFP trades. If I go back to um, the, the, the slides that I did, Yo, a lot of these trades were taken on NFP and a lot of people were usually stay out of the market on NFP. Me, I traded it because all of the rules are validated. So as long as the rules are like met, don't worry about news. News is simply a tool that the market makers use to induce traders to either hop out of their trades or to buy or sell. And that's what they, they use to, to manipulate the chart. So it really all depends, but I'm not too phased by news events. If my setup is there, then I'm taking it. I don't care if he, if it's NFT or some other news, I'm good because I already know what he's going to do. I know what he's going to do. He already set the traps. And even if he goes back up against me a little bit, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Okay. One more thing. Okay, I'm not going to take the call up. One more thing. Do you You're look good. at the dollar index? Yes, um, I do look at the dollar index. Okay. Do you look at that before, like when you get ready to get into a section, a session, no. do you analyze that first? Because that's what I was doing, looking at the dollar index and then going into my various. Um, I'm going to tell you right now. And I, some people would tell you to do that. It's good to do that. Like once you get, once you have a little set up and or once you have a little strategy, the reason they tell you to do that is just so you can see what other currency pairs are doing, right. what they might do. Is that necessary? No, you don't need to do that to be successful. That's something you can do to add on to your analysis later on, but don't even worry about that. What you need to focus on is focus on gaining success. And that will be identifying your levels. So I'm going to have you start off with the, the harmonic kill box. And then if you choose to sign up for um, the master class, I will give you some one-on-ones and we can like literally hop on the charts and do this stuff. And okay. I'll show you multiple setups. But as of right now, use the harmonic kill box. I'll be doing some live sessions from time to time and I'll go live of me trading the harmonic kill box. And I'm going to be giving you guys some trade calls on it. So you guys are not going to be alone, but overall try out the harmonic kill box, identify your levels, watch those videos and apply all of the rules and see if it works for you. But overall, you don't need to go bouncing around okay. to multiple pairs to see if it's going to work for you. It's Last simply. Huh? I'm no, sorry. No, you good. You good. Will, you, will you be going live in Discord or it will be on the university website? Well, I'll be going live in Discord for okay. the most part. But if you're on the university website, you guys get it first. So okay. if you're in a master class, any trade setups that I sent out, they get it first. Okay. Any new videos, they get it first. Like, they're going to get it first. I'm going to support the discord is just free. And look, and for my people that's taking a master class and using a harmonic kill box, everyone in discord has somewhat of a different um, strategy. 
So what I suggest you guys is don't mix a lot of that stuff up with this. The stuff, if, it didn't, if it didn't come from me or didn't come from the videos that I'm sharing with you guys, you shouldn't be using it. Stick to one strategy and use it. If my stuff don't work for you, fine. I mean, it, it don't work for you, but that's cool. If something else works for you, stick to that. But don't be bouncing around. Oh, this guy's using a support line and, and fibbing. Look, that's not necessary. Stick to the rules. Apply the rules and you'll find success. That's as best as I can put it. You know, it, it, it takes a lot of time to really let this stuff sink into your subconscious mind. But overall, it's going to gonna, gonna make complete sense. Trust me. Trust me, it's going to make complete sense. So for my folks that's signing up at a master class, yo, y'all are getting like behind the secrets information. And so for all my people that took the boot camp, y'all are already good. Y'all got some of that information already. Y'all got three trading strategies, including the harmonic kill box. So you guys are, are set. Um, so the only thing you guys will be able to do is just ride along with the master class. I'm going to be doing live webinars, giving you guys those one-on-one -on -one sessions, and we're going to have some fun. And most people that came into the program, um, six months to, within six months, they were trading profitable, very profitable. Me, six months into this, six to eight months, I, I was profitable. I mean, I traded demo for the longest but I was profitable. Dre, my man's in here. He seen me. I, I knew I absolutely all. nothing. Nothing. I was inviting these guys to live sessions like, yo, let's look at the charts. Let's look at the charts. I wasn't that profitable, but seven to eight months down the line, I'm killing it. I ain't never had no thousand dollar days before that. But that eight months of training of learning this information got me right. I ain't look. I don't even look at nobody else's strategy. I, I turn it down. I, I don't want to hear that garbage. Because it's bull crap. You guys are really learning the blueprint to being successful in the market. There's a lot of strategies out there. Some of them work. Some of them don't. But I'm telling you, the guy, the information that I'm sharing with you guys and who you're, who you're going to be learning from. You're going to be learning from me, of course. But the material that I'm sharing with you um, is coming from a different person. And the material, yo, that, that man has been trading for over 20 years. He was trained by a market maker, the people who make up the market. And this is his strategy. And I simply learned it, mastered it, and I'm sharing it with you guys. And I, I guarantee you, my mom, she never knew what baby pips was, what a bullish move, bearish, she didn't know none of that stuff. Three months in, she was calling out moves. Like, all you have to do is put in the work. That's literally what it is, is putting in the work. Don't be lazy with this stuff. You have to put in the work. I know y'all got jobs. I know some of y'all are in school. I know, trust me, I know, I know, I know, I know. But you have to be dedicated to this stuff. You can't make excuses. How are you willing to make $10,000, but you ain't willing to put in $10,000 worth of work? It don't work like that. You guys got to put in that time. And don't make excuses. Like, it's literally that simple. It's literally that simple. That's it. And you guys will find success. And I'm here. I'm here to help you guys out. I want to help you guys out. But if you slacking, I'm, I'm a, them charts is going to tell me if you slacking, if you've been marking up your charts, if you've been staying on top of things. That's, that's going to tell it all. That's going to tell it all. So it's up to you guys to really stay dedicated and, and really put in the work. Because if you put in the work, Dre, I, that's the only person that I see in here who is Latasha too. <laughs> You know, but overall, yo, some of these folks have seen me when I started from, I was bad. Ty, yeah, Ty was there. Yo, like these folks have seen me when I first started off with this strategy. And from that point on, they seen my growth and they see that this stuff works. You got a bearish alert on UCAD. Yes, you sure do. Um, I actually took that trade. No, I didn't. I called this trade out and I missed my opportunity to uh, get in. But this is a good harmonic pattern, good harmonic pattern. I put it in the Discord channel. If you go to the Discord channel and go to, can y'all see it? I don't know if y'all can see the Discord channel. But if you go to our Discord channel and go to trade ideas, you will see um, all of the setups that I called out. And UCAD, which is UC, I called it out. I said, look for a nice information, many days of rise, short. Let's look at it. Many days of rise, how many days of rise? One, two, oh, wait, no, 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 no. One, 
No, no, no. I'm, ah, I'm, I'm all bad. Sorry, guys. One, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So that's about three days of rise. Nice big M structure. Short. Come on. I sent it out. You could have made money off that. <laughs> this stuff is so easy. Like once you start applying the rules and you kind of get the feel for what you're looking for, it gets so exciting. And then the money, when the money starts coming in, you really excited. it. Like it's to the point where I'm ready to quit my job for real, for real, to be real with y'all. Like I'm, I'm this close. <laughs> <laughs> for real. This close. But I mean, that's pretty much it. Any other questions? Do you ever use the four-hour chart to validate yes. Um, so you asked me, do I use the four hour chart consolidations to, to validate any rule rule? Oh, yes, I do. I usually look at the four hour chart. So when we're marking up our levels, I teach you guys how to mark up the levels, but we also mark up levels on the four hour chart as well. And what the four hour chart levels help us identify is potential resets. And for those who don't know what resets are, it's pretty much when the market goes up in a certain direction, they hit that peak formation, like this reversal structure. They had dropped the market since it was an uptrend. They're going to drop the market, interact with one of your EMAs, and then simply go up again to continue the previous trend, breaking your previous peak formation. So this would be a reset. You know it's a, it was about to be a downtrend, but they continue to go up from that point on. And if you, were, if you marked up your higher levels on your four-hour time frame, you would have seen that coming a mile away. So it's, I use it to validate certain things, such as the, the harmonic kill box, using harmonics and also to identify my levels. But outside of that, bro, I'm typically on a one hour chart. I identify where I am in the cycle and I drop down to the 15 minute, maybe the five minute to get early entries. And that's it. Now you said also about sticking to one session. I prefer the London session, but my, with my schedule, I might have to start using the New York session and I'm not, I have to figure out which pair is the best for the New York session. Cause I'm, I'm Totally close on that. Um, okay, UCAT is a great uh, pair to be trading in a New York session. And bro, honestly, mess with some of the crosses. A lot of people typically stick to the majors. Some people don't like trading the crosses. I love trading the crosses. I trade them. Why? Because there's many setups that appear in the crosses. So typically, if a may, if let's just say GU, it's moving real, real slow. There's no movement going on, right? Nines out of 10, all of your trading opportunities are in the crosses. Don't be afraid to check out some of these. Okay. So you can trade any pair in the New York session because they all move. And the cool thing, bro, is what you have to understand, if something moved in a London session, you're going to get another trading opportunity to hop in in a New York session because they have to correct. Okay. So you're going to get a new entry. You just have to know what you're looking for. That's it. That's it. It's literally that simple, guys. Trust me. Any other questions? Bryant, Nico, y'all good? Cozy, you good? You said you, you, said you, you, said you took that trade, right? Uh, that you can Um, you can No, I called it out. I missed it. Oh, you just I called it. Oh, okay. I, I called it out. The only trade that I took that day was GU, and it, it hit. It hit. Oh, my gosh. GU. Mm -hmm. From the time that I called it, did about 166 pips. Mm -hmm. Ooh, boy, I, I was loving it. Oh, I loved it. EU did the same exact thing. Bomb. JK, any questions? You all good? Yes, I'm good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Eddie, you good? Bot Botchia? Uh, I'm not sure how to say her name. Botch? I'm going to just call you Botch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how to say it. <laughs> Oh, uh, forgive me. Forgive me if I'm butchering your names. But um, yeah, Q, you all good, bro? I hope so. All right. Well, yes, sir. I'm, I'm sitting here looking up some charts. Back, so. back. Well, for my folks that want to trade the harmonic pattern, make sure y'all go to that course, watch the videos, and you have a trading opportunity to put it to work. You have GU. That's happening tonight. So that's a great trading opportunity. I'm going to be looking at it. And if I get what I'm looking for, then I'm gonna take a trade. You know, it's literally that simple, guys. And then just put it to work. That's it. You know. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. Um, 
one last one last request. Can you send me the the link for the Discord and uh, what's that? The WhatsApp group chat. Can you send me a group chat? Can you send me that yeah. one more time. Um, so what you can do is go to the yeah. website. Once you go uh -huh. to the website, um, there's you can just click the link. We have a link. It says join our Discord channel. And the moment you click this link, it's gonna bring mm, you right to the Discord nice. channel. Uh, call me Kai. Right. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Kai, Kai, Kai. Got you, got you. Cool to meet you. <laughs> cool to meet you. Bet. Any other questions? Oh, y'all all good. Um, even if y'all have questions about the analysis or pairs, like whatever it is, I, I, I want to help you guys. Is there any uh, harmonic harmonic pander, uh, patterns that you don't trade? Um, I know there's a lot of harmonic patterns. I typically stick to the four, the bats, the Gartleys, um, the crabs, and bats, Gartleys, and uh, bats, Gartleys, butterflies, and, and, and crabs. Yeah, those are the four that I, I typically stick with, or five, however many I like. But it's in there. It's in a PDF. If you go to the PDF, it's all there. They tell you which patterns to stick, to watch. I only only mess with uh, these the bat, Gartley, butterfly patterns. Those are three. You can trade the crab if you want to, but these are typically what I stick with. These right, bats, Gartleys, and butterflies. Those are all good. Some of the best ones. And they show up multiple times in a week, multiple times. But a lot of the patterns that you see, like GU, what was that? A bearish Gartley? Yep, bearish Gartley. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So those are the ones that I, I typically trade. There's a lot more out there. I don't know how those work. I never traded those harmonic patterns, but these are the ones that we look for. And please do yourselves a favor. Do not, just because you get a harmonic pattern, do not just take it right away. Just because it says bearish, oh, I'm going to short. No, you don't want to do that. Validate the rules. Save me. <laughs> Save yourself some time. Save yourself some money because you're going to lose it if you do stuff like that. Any other questions? Oh, y'all all good. Y'all just got it together, huh? Y'all ready to start trading, huh? So <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, shoot, man, if that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down and I'm gonna post the recording inside of the course. So for those who missed it, they'll be able to chime in and, and kind of get some of this game. But um, hey, before we get off though, do you guys mind providing me with some feedback? Give me some feedback on them presentations. Is there things I shouldn't do? How did y'all like it? Was it clear? Did I talk too much? Be honest. Mm. Fine. Glad you said that. Um, if you said, I was going, I was at, I was going to hit you up probably like tomorrow. Or so I'm just Facetime you and like let you know. Um, at least in my opinion, and I know, I know you even said yourself. You know, you was going a little too fast. Cause uh, you make sure you know you can get some questions in, but um, I guess my two cents would just be like when you're when you are like going like step by step with like reviewing the charts and going mm -hmm. over what you should do and looking at the patterns. 